Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Atola Gbe and today I'm going to show you how I made um, a dress I saw of a Greenleaf series worn by Carissa Greenleaf in episode 5 of season 5. So in a few seconds I'm going to show you the original dress and um, my version of it and then I'm going to get into showing you how I made what I made. So do you keep on watching. So this is Carissa in her dress. It has a high neck, a cold shoulder, a long sleeve. Um, when she moves closer, we can tell that the cold shoulder is in a raglan sleeve. That's me by the side, by the way, also walking around. And um, the dress has a knee length skirt with a thigh high slit and a loose fit. I'm going to make mine not so loose. So this is a basic dress pattern. I'm going to have future videos where I explain how to draft your own basic patterns, but this is where this one is going to kick off from. In a bit, I'm going to manipulate this pattern to give me the final results that I want, starting by um, cutting off the bodice for uh, manipulation. Okay, now my bodice is by itself. The first thing I'm going to do is to transfer the shoulder darts to the side by drawing a line you know in the side where I want the new dart to be obviously I have to transfer the shoulder dart because it would be standing in my way as I um, make my raglan sleeve so I'm going to do that by cutting out the shoulder dart slashing open the line that I just drew and then I'm going to close the shoulder dart you want to tape that down in place and then you want to um, get a scrap of paper to close up the side dart which is now our new dart. Okay, new bodies, new dots. So what I'm doing here is to just um, expand the neck a little bit. I believe I measured 1.5 cm to the side and then 1 cm down. I had never made a raglan sleeve before, so I had to do some research and I had to try my hands on a couple of things. And after a couple of videos watched and lines drawn, I was confident and assured that I too could pull this off. So this is a technique that I used. First thing I'm going to do is to draw a diagonal line or curve extending from my armhole to my shoulder. It could end in your neck as well. This depends on the kind of raglan sleeve you're making but in this case this was going to end at the shoulder i made it about two centimeters from my neck um from my new neckline which would make it 3.5 centimeters from my original neckline now i'm measuring the distance from my um side seam and that is a 6 cm so you want to record that because we're going to translate it into the back bodice and into the sleeve as well i'm just repeating the same thing with the back bodice diagonal line make it a little curved but then it doesn't have to be curved it could be a straight line as well just you know be sure that you're precise with the measuring and you um, sort of ensure that you're keeping it constant between the front and the back 6 cm again Kind of like measuring the same on the sleeve at each side of the sleeve from the side seam um, Just 6 cm at the back and at the front So now I'm going to cut off the outliers here on the front bodice and on the back bodice. If you're in doubt, my front bodice is the one that has the tapes on it. 
you want to ensure that you don't lose them or begin to mistake them for each other. That could be disastrous. So I'm going to take this baby's hair and I'm going to attach them to the sleeve like this, back to back and front to front. I'm going to align them such that they um, sort of touch the six centimeter point that we measured on either side of the sleeve, okay? So that it corresponds accurately with the bodies. And I'm going to secure that with a tape. I repeated the same thing with my front. As you can see, I aligned with the six centimeter point and it doesn't matter if there's some overlapping, it's okay. If you have done it correctly, your body should be able to fit it like this without asso. Now this little space here is where if you were making a full raglan sleeve, this is where um, the angle for the shoulder, the angle where the shoulder sits in is going to form. But this is not a regular raglan sleeve. This is a cold shoulder raglan sleeve. And as such, we're going to, in a bit, make that cutout that is going to create the peekaboo at the shoulder. I'm just folding it, folding my sleeve so that I have a better view of what the final um, sleeve is going to look like and I can judge from there. So I here I measured um, two inches because I just wanted to have some control. I wanted to use it as a guide for how deep um, my cold shoulder would be at the side of my shoulder. And then, you know, I hesitated a little and then I thought, I'm going to just make this line come a little bit from the back. You know, in retrospect, I don't think it made any difference. But the assumption at the time was that it was going to make my um, cold shoulder swing backwards a tiny little bit. But this is how you draw the line. This is how I drew my line. And this is what my sleeve looked like in the end. I had trouble deciding which color to go for. I had um, this red with white stripes and then I had a peachy number so I decided to go for the peachy because it has no stripes and I just thought it would be a better fit. I cut my bodies, I just thought to show this bit where I also cut the facings for the sleeve and the bodies itself. In a moment, I'm going to turn all of these pieces into one with the zipper attached. Done. Next up, we are going to take the front piece and then stitch it to the back piece. Of course, I'm going to go in with the shoulders first and then I'm going to stitch the right side all the way down. Now that is all done, so I'm going in to cut out my slit. Looks something like this. Obviously the depth of this depends on your personal preferences. Now I was going to layer this extensions when I realized that, oh, I should have done the layering in the waist seam first. And so I grabbed my um, seam ripper and then I went into the waist seam and I took it apart as quickly as I could. I only did it about midway into the dress. So now I'm back with the piece of extension and I'm going to layer it. This is all done and ironed. It looks like this and underneath it I have my slit. 
uh, I already finished all of these edges with a blind hem stitch. I have a video on that. You might want to check it out in order to know how to make one. So I'm just going to go ahead and pin this extension onto my skirt and then I'm going to go in with a straight stitch to stitch the left side of the dress and make it look all balanced. After this, I'm going to work on my sleeve next. Okay, this is my sleeve as well as it's um, facing. I'm going to um, sew this separately first at the sides. If you want to see how I layer the facing into it, you might want to check out the other video that I dedicated to just the raglan sleeve. So I'm now going in with my facing. This is a simple part, so I'm not going to talk about it much. In the end, we have something that looks like this.